Here we have Lenny the locust. Now as we see him, he is currently eating away at any locust's favourite food, grass. Of which he can eat an amount which can be up to equal his body weight, hence the damage that swarms cause. However, how do locusts eat so much? Here you can see the first key part to a locust's digestive system, its mouth. Here we can see the locust palps, which are the antennae-like objects. These are used to shovel food into its mouth. Its first set of mouth pots then saw off pieces of vegetation by the mandibles moving from side to side. A mandible which you can see now from an image taken from a microscope is its jawbone. This is its second mandible. In the next two images we can see the maxilla. Maxillae manipulate food during mastication. The palp is used to sense characteristics of its food to see if it is suitable to eat. This is the labium and its palp. This is the floor of the mouth and just like the maxilla, it too manipulates food during mastication, although it is formed from too few secondary maxillae. Firstly, we pinned down the locust, then made the incisions in order to remove its underbody to get to what you see here. We flood the bowl so that organs such as the gut, which we are observing, can be easily seen. The gut is clearly visible as the long white tube through the centre of the locust. We can see black lumps which are three different types of food. The gut itself has no blood supply in vessel form, but instead an open supply at low pressure, along with a vast supply of tracheals to supply oxygen. 